Let's see a question from linear differential equation, linear partial differential equation of first order. Now, if you look at this question carefully, this is clearly of the format capital P small p plus capital Q small q equals to R. Now, what is P here? P here is whatever is the coefficient of small p that is x, y. Similarly, q will be y square, r will be z, x, y minus 2, x, y. So, this was the first step to identify your p, q and r. Second step is to write the subs, uh, ledger, the auxiliary equation which we have, the Lagrange's subsidiary equation also we say normally auxiliary equations is there that is written dx by p so dx by p is xy equals to dy by q which is y square equals to dz by r which is zxy minus 2xy so one by one we will equate this fraction first equating first and second you are getting dx by xy equals to dy by y square. 1y we can cancel out. So integrate both sides. So dx by x, dy by y, integration of dx by x is ln x. That of dy by y is ln y. Constant you can write as ln c1. So ln x minus ln y is ln c1. Okay. So ln x by y log a minus log b is log a by b equals to ln c1. So you are getting x by y equals to c1. This being your first equation. For second equation, take second fraction and the third fraction. So you are getting dy by y square is equal to dz by zxy minus 2x square. What you can do is x is coming extra because you want variable of y, you want variable of z. So you can replace this x which is coming uh, by this equation because x is y times c1. So wherever you see x, replace that by y times c1. So dz divided by y times c1 into y. So y square times c1 into z minus. 2 y square times c1 square fine now y square you can take common and cancel and uh, 1 c1 you can uh, send to that side so y square getting cancelled 1 c1 if i send take common and send to that side i will get c1 dy equals to dz by y square getting cancelled c1 to common so z minus 2 times c1 ok uh, this uh, c1 i took common ok fine now uh, if you integrate both side at this stage now this is simple uh, 1 upon linear so and the coefficient is also not there. So, just simply log denominator will be its integral. So, c1 dy. So, integration will be y times c1. Here it will be ln z minus 2 times c1. Okay. And here it will be, uh, let's say that uh, constant will come. Let's name that c2. Okay. Now, uh, y times c1 is your x, so x, and you can take this to the LHS, so x minus ln, uh, z minus c1 is, uh, z minus 2 times c1 is there, and plus, uh, equals to whatever is in RHS, which is c if I look at uh, that clearly, it was dy by y equals to dz by 
z times x y so i replaced x by y times c1 another y was there z was there okay and uh, here we have uh, 2 times x was y c1 so y square c1 square Okay, c1 I y square c1 I took common so y square got cancelled c1 I sent to that side this is what finally I'm getting and this becomes my equation number 2 so my final answer will be phi of uh, first function comma this function equals to 0 or I can also write uh, this as uh, this that is x minus ln z minus 2 c1 equals to phi phi is arbitrary constant of x by y okay so this uh, can be written as my final answer which is x minus ln z minus 2 c1 is equals to phi x by y okay so i hope you understood this uh, question uh, pretty well uh, simple idea was there first to identify the format that it is Lagrange's method problem then write the subsidiary equation solve get to equation and get the final answer